Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice function? f of x equals x to the power of x to the power of x, where x here is greater than 0. And we are expected to find f prime of x, that is the derivative of all this. But looking at this, is a power towel of i3. We have x power x power x. And how do you solve this problem? Let's drop the answer in the comment box before I solve it. So let's consider the solution. So the first thing we are going to do here is, suppose I replace these two power, which is x power x with t, where this t is a function of x. So if t equals x power of x, Therefore, we are going to have f of x equals x power of t. Then t depends on x. Let's try and uh, introduce logarithm to both sides. So introducing natural logarithm ln of f of x equals ln x power of t. And by rule of logarithm, so the power of t here will come down. And here we have ln f of x equals t multiplied by ln x. And in the next step, we are going to differentiate this. So I note that when we differentiate ln of x, we are going to have 1 divided by x. But this is a function on its own. And uh, we have another function, a logarithm. So this is a dependent variable, which means anytime we differentiate this, we are going to be adding another derivatives here. And since this is coming as a fraction, we are going to have this as f prime of x, then divided by f of x. Or we can still call this one function in a function. So by using the chain rule, we are going to get what I have here. So using uh, the formula of chain rule. And this equals, here is a product rule. So we are going to keep this, differentiate this. And also we keep this, we differentiate this. So by doing that, if I keep ln first and I differentiate this. So we are going to have t prime, that is derivatives. Because this is also serving as other function entirely like a dependent variable so multiply by ln x then plus also we are going to keep t we differentiate ln x when we differentiate ln x we are going to have over x because ln x is 1 divided by x and in the next step here if i cross multiply multiplying f of x with this we are going to have f prime of x equals f of x then multiply by t prime multiply by ln x plus t divided by x and upon getting this we have t prime of x here which is needed to be find we must know what is t prime of x and how can we get this Let's recall from where we let t equals x power of x. And don't forget that this t is the same thing as t of x. It depends on x. Then we are going to take the derivative of this. And before that, we firstly introduce natural log to both sides. Introducing ln, we have ln t equals ln of x power of x and again we apply the rule of logarithm here so here remains ln t equals x multiplied by ln x so the next step we are going to differentiate this and when we differentiate this we take back the substitution into where we have f prime of x and let's do that So, we have 
ln of t equals x ln x. So by differentiating ln t, just as we applied uh, before, t here is a function of x. When we differentiate it, we are going to have t prime divided by t. So using the chain rule, then equals, when we keep this ln x, we are going to differentiate x. That is 1 plus, when we keep x, we differentiate ln x, that is 1 divided by x. And this remains t prime divided by t equals ln x multiplied by 1. This is ln x plus x cancelled x and we have only 1. By cross multiplying, we have t prime equals t into bracket of ln x plus 1. So this is what we get for t prime. And what we now recall from where we have f prime of x equals f of x bracket t prime then multiply by ln x plus t divided by x we are going to do some proper substitution into this function so here we have t prime ln x we we'll multiply it with this we have t prime multiplied by ln x equals so this comes as t into bracket of ln x plus 1 then multiply by ln x and then when we expand this we have t multiplied by ln x that is t ln x plus t times 1 that is t then everything multiplied by ln x so multiplying this out ln x multiplied by ln x this gives us t ln squared x then plus t multiplied by ln x so this is what we are going to have and let's substitute every, everything back into the formula and we have f prime of x equals f of x bracket the whole of t prime multiplied by ln x it gives us t ln squared x plus t ln x then plus t divided by x that is what we are going to have and after getting this, here is t, here is t. Let's factor out t from all this. We have f of x multiplied by t into bracket of ln squared x plus ln x plus 1 divided by x. So this is what we get. But don't forget that f of x is given as x power x power x because we must leave everything in terms of x. Multiply by the t is x power of x. Then we have ln squared x plus ln x plus 1 divided by x. So this is the result of f prime of x. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.